tonight's talk in Chinese to switch over to the Chinese translation channel. Okay, uh, 在这边, 如果你是听华语的话, 我们有华文翻译, 麻烦到这个翻译的这个地球这边, 选择华文的语文, 谢谢大家, Thank you, thank you, Joe. All right, hello, good evening once again. My name is Lo Huang, and I'm most happy uh, to be the host for this evening's presentation, which will be conducted by my good friend and business partner, Kit. Our speaker this evening is an engineer by training and an adventurer at heart. He had successfully climbed the corporate ladder in a big multinational corporation. Now, despite all these achievements, he had always wanted to be an entrepreneur and wanted to set up his own business. When he chanced upon the right business platform, he, of course, evaluated diligently. And once he made up his mind, there was no stopping him. While he learned the skills and knowledge, he worked together with a group of light-minded partners, including myself, and grew his network not just in Singapore, but into other countries, including Malaysia, Thailand, Cambodia, and the latest Australia. Combining this with his corporate experience, he now aspires to lead like-minded professionals on an adventure of health and wellness and to scale new summits with them. And to share with you on the topic from corporate to entrepreneurship, I have the great pleasure of inviting the speaker for this evening, Platinum Director Kit. Kit, please. Thank you, thank you, Lok Huang, for that. Uh, for those kind words, okay, let me just um, share my screen and then we'll get going. Okay, good. Well, again, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You know, uh, welcome to all the friends and especially for the newcomers who have uh, taken the time off to share, to join me this evening as I share my story. <laughs> now, for those people who actually know me, you know, you know that I love to hear stories. I also love to tell stories. Now, and there's this one story that I feel is very relevant you know, to all of us in times of great changes like today. Okay. Now, see that beautiful picture. This is the story of a bird, a very happy bird. Now, why do I say that? This, this bird actually lives on the beautiful island of Mauritius. Well, look at it, isn't it cute and plump? And it could not fly, but it was a contented bird. You know? well, happily living on the island for thousands of years. And that is until in year 1600, a ship arrived at the island carrying sailors from Holland. Now, as this bird did not know fear, it went out happily to greet these sailors. And guess what? What the sailors saw was food. And more bad news. You know, there were cats, pigs, rats, and dogs that all arrived on the ship. They also killed the bird. In fact, it's in less than 100 years, I guess none of these happy birds were left. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this bird is called a dodo. And this story is not about the clumsy and stupid bird. Now, after all, the bird was doing just fine until we humans came along, right? The lesson to take away from this is really change. Change is really unpredictable. Now, my own lesson was that you have to embrace change and adapt to the world as it is now, not as it was. And if you fail to do so, well, you may find that your career or your business becomes extinct or even obsolete very quickly, just like a dodo. Now, my friends, since last year, now we have all been experiencing what I would term the mother of all changes. And this change is called, of course, 
COVID-19. Now it's gone by many names like Delta variants, but fact is it is COVID-19. Now, let us, uh, before we start, we'll do a very simple exercise. Now, if you think that in six months time, okay, in six months time from now, that everything will go back to normal, just like the days before COVID-19. Well, just type A in the chat box, okay? Or if you think that, you know, by now you realize that no matter what, things will never go back to the way they were before. Well, type a B in the chat box, okay? Let's see how many of us are of the A's and of the B's, okay? Type B, you've accepted the fact that we all need to adapt to the change that is happening. Okay, I'll give you five seconds, you know, just type very quickly, A, B. Well, I see that there's a number of friends who's actually putting B in it. Yeah, good. Well, indeed, indeed, okay. I think many of us agree that, you know, the, the global business landscape has changed very rapidly over the last two years. And the whole new normal is unfolding. So the story we have here is do not end up like the dodo and become extinct in no time. Now, let me introduce myself. My name is uh, Ikit. Most people just call me Kit. And I myself too had my own big change moment. That's probably about 14 years ago. Well, I still remember very distinctly that year. That was the year 2007. Now it was the world financial crisis. And that year I learned a lesson that stayed with me till today. Well, you see, I was a typical product of our own education system. And what was that, right? That was study hard, you get a good grade, get a good stable job. Well, work really, really hard. And then people will notice you, you get promoted and you work till you retire. Well, my mentality back then was very interesting now that I reflect back. I was thinking to myself that as long as I work hard and your company was doing very well, well, all will be fine. Well, 207 certainly proved me wrong. Well, I learned that year that when change comes, well, it does not really care how well your company is doing well. And it also do not care how talented, how experienced or how skilled you may be. Wow, soof, just like a hurricane, right? Change will just sweep in, destroys everything that is not fitting to the new environment that is creating. Now, I was lucky to survive that hurricane with my job still intact. Now, many of my friends and colleagues did not. And I learned that it's not because they are not capable, but simply because they do not fit into the new environment. Now, I was lucky to have kept my job, but I learned a very deep lesson that day. That when change comes, it comes suddenly. Now, no one is invulnerable. You may think that you are so valuable that it makes you indispensable. Well, my friends, changes like what COVID-19 had brought about can make you irrelevant overnight, just like that. Now, back then, I knew I had to prepare myself. Now, I started reading many self-help books, many courses, you know, looking for solutions. And what was interesting is I found this mentor called Robert. Uh, for many of you who recognize that picture, yes, Robert is the author of the bestseller book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And my biggest takeaway lesson from Robert was this thing called the cash flow quadrant. Well, I tell you, when the first time I see this cash flow quadrant, right, and I was trying to place myself, wow, I just realized what I did is I was smack right in the middle of what is called the employee quadrant. Now, nothing wrong with being an employee. As an employee, what I was doing, I was just exchanging time for money. But what I found was that in order to withstand all future hurricanes, I must find a way to quickly move myself from the employee quadrant to what we call the business quadrant. Now, in the business quadrant, I will have a business system and people that I can leverage on to work for and together with me. I decided then, then that I must find a way to become a business owner. And 
life was very interesting, right? When I made up my mind, the law of attraction brought me the answer. Now, somehow to, now for those of you who know me, knows that I'm very active on social media, especially Facebook. And it was through Facebook that I reconnected with an old friend. Well, somebody that I've known for more than 27 years. His name is Elvin Young. Now, one day, I saw Elvin posting his social projects on Facebook. Now, it was a life-changing initiative that provided financial education to the children of poor farmers in Thailand. Now, I, I really love the idea. Now, I immediately supported this project with donations. And I've always aspired to live the kind of life like what Elvin did while traveling to third world countries to do good, changing the world for the better, changing lives for the better. But I was stuck in my job and I never have enough vacation days. But I was really curious as to how Elvin was able to, well, earn his living while spending so many months every year doing such projects all over the world. So I decided to ask him out for dinner. But it was certainly a life changing evening for myself. Now, I, I learned from Elvin then how he built an Asia-wide network enterprise. And it was this enterprise that gave him financial and time freedom. Wow, I tell you, that night was like a aha moment for me. You know, I, I, I went back and I was sleeping. You know, I, I couldn't get to sleep. I was so excited. I saw the possibility for me to cross over to a business quadrant. And of course, that's what started my Avita journey with Elvin. Now today, I am an Avita network leader and entrepreneur. I lead professionals to channel their wealth of corporate experience. Well, on an entrepreneurial adventure of wealth, health, and wellness. And I climb new summits with them. Now, let me share with you another story that I came across in the newspaper. It mentions that the government policies, you know, not just in Singapore, but all over the world, must manage what they call the K-shaped recovery of post-COVID-19. Now, what does a K-shaped recovery mean? Now, a K-shaped recovery occurs when following a recession, and we, we, were, we just went through a recession, right? Different parts of the economy recover at different rates, different times, and different magnitudes. In fact, you will have realized for those of you who realize that business like those in the technology, software, e-commerce, digital marketing will pick up rapidly in 2021 and even you know, in 2020 when COVID hit. While many other industries like travel, entertainment, hospitality, well, F&B, and those in the gig economy, they are finding it very challenging to survive. Now, I'm sure that some of you out there are also feeling the same way, right? And are now open to looking at, hey, what other opportunities there may be out there? Well, if you are now in the upper K, congratulations. However, be conscious of the difference between being an employee versus being a business owner. Ah, if you now are in the lower K, well, I say do not despair. Maybe this is the sign for you to seek a new opportunity, an opportunity that will bring you to even greater heights. So very interesting, which side of the K are you on? So what is an entrepreneur, right? That's what my topic is tonight. Now, if you look at the definition, it merely means an individual who creates a new business for themselves, while well, bearing most of the risks and of course, enjoying most of the rewards. Now, mind you, it can sound pretty scary, especially if you have always been an employee. I know it was the same for me, right? So the thing is, how can you become an entrepreneur and what type of business is suitable? Now, is it possible to do a business in this new normal with minimal financial risk? I'm sure you have heard of many friends who have plowed all their savings, you know, open a business, open a cafe, and before you know it, you know, the, the, you know they, they've closed and then lost all the investment. Well, I certainly wish that after this evening sharing, I wish that all my new friends here to get that aha moment, just like what I had 
many years ago, right? And just like me, you may find the possibility of yourself taking up this challenge to become an entrepreneur and business owner. So let me first share how I analyze the Avita business platform. And my sharings, you know, could be useful to help you, you know, if you too are doing uh, your own evaluation process of looking at, you know, uh, opportunities out there in the market. Now, this is how I really analyzed the Avita business opportunity when it was first presented to me. Now, you too can use the same principles for any other business opportunity. Now, this is really, really where I'm very thankful for my, my own engineering and corporate experience because it allowed me to evaluate the business opportunity in a very systematic manner. Now, let me first share with you the three key areas, three key areas that I look at. Now, first is, of course, a product. Whether it's a product or whether it's a service, you know, there must be what we call a product. Now, what I learned is that ideally, the product must be a consumable. Now, because if the product is not a consumable, then, you know, it will not generate repeat business. So having a product that is consumable is very useful. Now, of course, the product too must meet the needs of many people. And more important, it must fit a growing trend, not just in Singapore or in your country itself, but across the whole world. And of course, any products, it must be effective. And of course, it must be safe and then it must be of the highest quality. So these were my few criteria when I set out to evaluate the products uh, aspect of a business. Now, second area that I looked at was what we call the business model. Now, what I realized uh, from years of working in corporate was that you know, the right business model must provide me with what we call leverage. Right? The business too must be able to scale up quickly and best if the business is borderless. Now, in fact, you know, it has always been my dream to grow a business just like the international franchise of like what, Jollibee, McDonald's, Burger King. And finally, my area that I looked at was after having worked so many years in corporate, I realized the importance of company and culture. Now, I wanted very much to understand this, right? Who are the company's leadership? Now, I want to know who are the people I'll be working with with me, mentoring me, and more important, I want to understand the value system because I personally must be able to identify with these values if this is my own business. Now, to me, in a snapshot, all these three things are what I look at. These are important elements to building up what we call a sustainable and meaningful business. Now, I still remember my first Meridian Therapy workshop. Well, Elwin had invited me after our talk to attend it so that I can experience it for myself. Well, what amazed me during that workshop was that how a 5,000-year-old TCM preventive care therapy can be designed to be so fun, so simple to learn, but yet so effective. Wow, that is when I realized the secret. It was the power of the Avita TCM herbal essential oils. Now, these oils were created by painstaking research from professors by the renowned Yangming Taiwan University. In fact, if you think about it, it's like bottling up qi or energy inside a bottle, making it very easy to use and hence so powerful. In fact, the next day after the workshop, you know, I was so excited to try out my new skills that I brought these oils to a potluck party. And at the party, you know, uh, people brought food. I brought my oils and uh, my gua sha board. I started doing shoulder gua sha for many of my friends there. Well, to my surprise, all my friends who were there at the party, including my Malay friends, were simply delighted after experiencing the gua sha. So they all were asking me how they can attend the workshops, you know, what were these and what was that. Well, at that point in time, I smelled the potential of this set of TCM oils. And boom, that was really how my Avita business took off, starting with this humble TCM herbal oils. Now with these oils, what do I see? I see a new TCM blue ocean out there waiting for me to conquer together with my partners. Now after that workshop, 
I aspire to have a dream, a team of my own, you know, just like what Elwin had. I wanted to bring this meridian therapy skills. Not, and this Avita TCM is not just in Singapore itself, but all over the world. Well, I'm proud to say that today my team has grown from Singapore into Malaysia, Australia, Cambodia. And these oils are helping many people in these countries, including uh, you know, uh, as far as Hong Kong, Canada, and USA to have good health. Now, at the same time, it also helps my partners in these countries to build up their own business for themselves and create their wealth and financial freedom. Now, I was even more excited when LV introduced me to the star product of Avita. You know, this is Selagen from Switzerland. Now, coming from an industry, an aviation industry, I've always been dealing with cutting edge technology. And what I saw was really a world class cellular regeneration Swiss technology. So, what I saw was a technology that's able to help many people slow down their aging. Hey, a technology that can prevent degenerative aging. In fact, since the launch of Celagen in Singapore and worldwide in 2009, thousands and thousands of people around the world have benefited. Now, even celebrities love the anti-aging effect. The elderly users love the youth-enhancing you know, energy that it gives them. And sportsmen too have benefited from quicker recovery. Of now, I will say, Celagen is everyone to slow down aging prevent degenerative disease, and aspire to live life to the fullest. Now, back then when you found out all about this, I was thinking to myself, wow, if this thing really works the way it's supposed to, I can see how astronomical the market potential is, especially given today's fast aging population. Now, this is like a billion dollar global market. So like all good engineers do, right, I decided to put Celagen to the test. Well, not just on myself, but on my family, and especially on my 80-year-old mom who lives on her own in Ipoh back in Malaysia. Now, this is my mom, okay? Many of my friends here have seen her and know her, and her name is Karen. And over the last few years after I've started my mom on Celagen, my siblings and I saw that she has actually grown younger. Well, in terms of energy and vitality, right? she has better energy now. She enjoys all the things that she loves doing. Now, of course, we are in lockdown right now in Malaysia. But I am glad because she is healthy. You know, uh, before the lockdown, she used to play mahjong. She does tai chi and she still drives a car and she loves traveling. You know, I miss traveling with her You know, because of what happened the last two years. Well, frankly, I am so grateful to Selagen for just keeping my 84-year-old mom healthy and happy. Now, in fact, I'm happy to be able to provide for her the quality of life for the rest of her life. I would tell all the children here, in fact, Selagen is a priceless gift that all of us children can give to our aging parents. In fact, meet my good friend here, Jermaine. Jermaine herself is a TCM physician. Now, her late mother at 92 years of age back then was suffering from many degenerative illness. And of course, when Jermaine found out what Selagen could do, decided to give Selagen to her mother. Now, it definitely gave her mother much better quality of life till her passing late last year. And I'm also grateful to have Jermaine today as one of my business partners today. Now, she is one of the few new generation TCM physicians who practice what we call integrative preventive care, combining the best of the East and the West. And Jermaine right now is leveraging on the Avita business platform to bring TCM preventive care to the rest of the world. And it was through Jermaine that I actually was introduced to this lovely lady called Daphne. And because of Daphne, my network spread into Cambodia. Now, Daphne is a good friend and ex-colleague of Jermaine for more than 15 years. And in fact, Daphne, you know, I'm so proud of her, right? She runs her own traditional business in Cambodia for more than 10 years. So what happened is her daughter, Nicole, suffered from chronic insomnia and anxiety. And Jermaine, being a very constant friend, you know, uh, you know, discussed with me and we decided to put together a solution for Nicole. 
And over time, with the use of the Avita herbal essential oils and selogen, Nicole resolved her insomnia issue. And before you knew it, she was back to her old bubbly happy self again. Now, it was then that Daphne sensed the potential of this business. Now, being an entrepreneur herself, well, Daphne seized the Avita opportunity and brought it all the way to Cambodia. Now, this is where I truly appreciate the power of the network marketing business model. Now, think about it. I myself, I do not know anyone in Cambodia. In fact, till today, I have not even visited Cambodia yet. Right now, but thanks to this business model, I was able to expand into this beautiful country. Now, so it's really thanks to these wonderful lady partners of mine. Now, if you recall earlier, Jamie was a TCM physician, but we knew each other for more than 20 years. In those days, we were actively taking part in all sorts of outdoor adventure. And we reconnected again when Jamie decided to attend one of the Meridian therapy workshops that I invited her to. Wow, even as a TCM physician, she just loved what we were doing. And she decided then, then she would join me in the business. And Jermaine today is now leveraging on the Avita platform to bring on more TCM doctors like her, right? And she's educating people on how to achieve good health through the Meridian therapy. And at the same time, start building up this business platform and expand to different countries. And it was through her, of course, if you recall, I was connected to Daphne. Now, of course, Remember why I said that Daphne was a business owner and entrepreneur from Singapore and she runs her own company in Cambodia. And of course, after seeing what the uh, Avita products could do for her daughter, Nicole, she sees the business opportunity to expand into Cambodia. Now together, I'm so happy to announce that, you know, with Jermaine and Daphne and of course with many of the uh, people in Cambodia right now, we brought Meridian 101 and the TCM oils into Cambodia. And from there, you know, our plan is to expand to the rest of Indochina. Now, we have also brought in Selogen and other, other Avita products there to bring good health to the people of Cambodia. And of course, bring a possible uh, business opportunity to also many of the people there so that they can make a change for themselves. Now, in the picture, this is a picture of Jermaine and Daphne in 2019. Right? Both of them conducted the first ever Meridian 101 workshop in Cambodia. I'm super, super proud of them. Now we had a group of very enthusiastic mix of locals and expatriates. And many of them right now have also joined us as partners to become their own entrepreneurs in this wellness business and journey. But I just so love my Cambodian team, right? Seeing how committed they are in learning and also applying what they learn. In fact, I'm so motivated in supporting them. You know, I'm committed to work with my team and my partners in Cambodia and let Avita create a better life and a better world for all of them. Now, let me now introduce you to Florabel. Florabel actually works in Cambodia and is a friend of Daphne. Now, Florabel attended the first Meridia 101 workshop actually in Cambodia. But she is currently back in the Philippines and because of that, our network business spread all the way into Philippines. And in Philippines, Florabel with her knowledge of TCM, you know, imagine a Filipino knowing the, having TCM knowledge, how powerful it is, right? Help many people, including this cute teenage lady named Eva. Uh, Florabel, you know, actually shared with her how to use Fossitia Detox Oil to resolve her acne issue. And in the process of make her a really happy lady, right? Uh, Florabel also taught her family and friends how to do meridian therapy. And this became very beneficial, especially last year in Philippines when there was a big lockdown. Now, during a lockdown last year in Philippines, you know, this, uh, this lady called Francesca had a high fever and a painful stomach. Now, because it was very challenging for them to go visit a doctor, the mother decided to consult Florabelle. And, you know, uh, based on the advice from her and also the support from all of us, you know, the mom then applied, you know, the right Avita oil mix on her chest, her stomach and her back. And after just one hour, the temperature reduced very quickly. It subsequently became normal and her stomach pain subsided. Now, since then, whenever she feels uncomfortable, she would always ask for the Avita oils to be applied on her. Now, these simple stories highlight 
how this business can travel across borders seamlessly. Now, even with Florabel back in Philippines, she can still put her skills and knowledge to good use and attract many business partners to work together with her. In fact, we worked closely together and grew a team of competent partners in Cambodia. Well, today we have a growing base of happy customers in Cambodia. And we look forward, you know, when the borders are fully open, you know, to go in there and really help the team to expand into the rest of Indochina in the coming years. Now, besides Selogen and the TCM oils, now Alvita have an amazing range of very unique and special products that can help improve the health of many people. Now, this includes NGF or natural growth factors, which targets the health of our neurons or brain cells and target to help people prevent you know, the onset of neurodegenerative disease. We have things like matrix cell, which is designed to help women in the prevention of breast cancer. Right? Especially this month is the month of a, you know, the breast cancer awareness. We also have things like live biotics plus a very powerful probiotics with a patented K21 bacteria strain. that improves our gut health as well as our liver health. I'm so looking forward to uh, November when we're going to launch our latest cellular product called Celeva, right? which uh, you know, helps your body to remove visceral fats as, and also uh, promote good liver health. In fact, these products target a very big growing market throughout the whole world. To be more exact, the global wellness market that the Avita products are suitable for is simply worth a staggering $4.5 trillion. Right. Look at all those areas you know, which make up that uh, market. We are into all of it with what we have. Now, for those of you who may be wondering, how did Selogen fare in these very challenging times last year? Well, especially with COVID and all this. Well, I'm happy to say that last year was actually a boom year for us. Selogen is thriving in this challenging time because of its ability to help the body to strengthen the immune system. You know, we all know that the only true defense against COVID and whatever variants that it may mutate into is really a very strong body defense. And in fact, these are just some of the individuals who had contracted COVID and Selogen had helped them to recover very fast and minimize the effects, right? This is my friend, uh, Jonalee, Jonalee from uh, Philippines. And this was actually a brother of a good friend of ours. And he was in New York when he contracted. And the sister from Singapore actually very quickly sent him uh, two boxes. And subsequently, after he took the two boxes, he found that he was able to recover very quickly. Now, it's things like this that, you know, uh, really brings meaning, you know, to many of us. And of course, this is Park Henry. You know, Park Henry was in the what we call the vulnerable age in Indonesia. And when he and the wife contracted COVID, you know, the symptoms were so mild that the doctor, the doctor decided that they were just okay to recover in the house. Of course, they recovered well. And since then, you know, Park Henry has been fervent in spreading this uh, to many people in Indonesia and helping them in the area of health. So you can see now why you know, the, the preventive wellness market is an evergreen market if you have the right thing. Now, what I love is Avita is a Singapore company. Now, for many of you who may not realize that Singapore is actually a very premium brand. You know, in fact, when we go to countries like Cambodia, uh, Vietnam, Thailand, and when you mention that you know, uh, it is a Singapore company, you know, people really pay it due respect. And this is because Singapore companies have a reputation for being trustworthy and of high integrity. Now, this has really been helpful in helping us to open doors and when I expand my Avita business across Asia and the rest of the world. Now, of course, I was curious then who was the visionary person behind Avita. Well, meet Miss, Miss Lee Xiang Ying. Okay, all of us call her Miss Lee. She is the founder and CEO of Avita. And Miss Lee has this very beautiful uh, motto, for a better life, for a better world. Well, that two phrase alone tells me a lot of what really matters to her and the true reason and the purpose behind Avita. 
Now, but nothing really beats the personal and up close experience I had with Miss Lee. Now, in twenty in November twenty seventeen, I brought my mom, you know, on the uh, Avita uh, Voyager trip to Taiwan. That was our first trip, and what I saw then was that throughout the trip, Miss Lee always took the time to have a word with my mom and ask after her welfare. You know, with motherly love. No, she always took extra care to ensure that not only my mom but everybody else on that trip was well looked after. So it was like a gigantic family trip, and that touched me greatly and remained in my mind even till today. Now I always believe a leader who cares is really a leader who you can count on, whether through thick and thin, whether it's good times or bad times. Now, with Miss Lee at the helm of Avita, I am confident that this is the place where I will make my millions, and more important, Avita is like family to me. Now, I love adventure and I love traveling. I would love to have an international family in my network, and Avita certainly gives me that chance. Now, with fourteen countries and still growing, with over two billion. Market size, wow! This is certainly my opportunity to grow my global Avita Network franchise, and all I have to do is to connect friends to friends to friends and share this amazing opportunity and support them to succeed in this business. Well, just like how Alvin and many of my senior associates here had supported me. So let me share with you how I got started. In 2016, where I am now and where I am headed to. Now there are seven ranks in the Avita business. The first three ranks are what we call the customer ranks. Now, these are the the VIP rank, SA stands for Silver Associate and GA stands for Gold Associate. Now promotion from VIP to Gold Associate is automatic. It is merely based on accumulated purchases. What is important if you are looking at it as a business is the next four ranks, and these four ranks are the PD stands for Platinum Director, DP stands for Diamond President, PA stands for Pearl Ambassador, and the Crown Ambassador, which is the ultimate rank. Now, all these four ranks they are entitled to share in one percent of global sales. Now, this is very important because. It is like we are unnamed shareholders of the company, but more exciting for somebody who come from corporate. I was very excited when I saw this structure because what I saw was this: I could relate the platinum director rank to that of a CEO of your own company with your own team of partners. And as your network grows larger and larger, well, think about it: the diamond is like that of a country CEO. And the pearl ambassador is like that for regional CEO, and of course, you know the crown ambassador is like the global CEO. So for myself, what I wish to waste no time to build up my Avita network business quickly. So what I did is I invested in the gold associate business startup position. Now while holding down a full time job, I work my Avita business with what I term a full time mentality, and very quickly. I got promoted to become a platinum director and achieve my first baby step to be a CEO of my own network. Well, I'm very excited today to be working with like-minded partners like Lok Huang, Daphne, Jermin, because I want to help them too to achieve their own CEO dreams. Of course, this in turn will pave my way towards my goal to challenge for diamond president in 2022, which is coming very soon. Now, for those of you. Who are ready to embrace this change? Now, for those of you who are thinking that I want to find a platform that allow me to thrive in this new normal, now for those of you who aspire to be a CEO of your own global network, I invite all of you to get started as a GA with us today. Now, what really impresses me is this thing. Right, I am very impressed with the comprehensive coverage of what I call the Avita education system. Now, it not only covers individual competency, knowledge, and skills; it also covers team effectiveness, 
communication and leadership skills. Now, I personally have been transformed. I've also witnessed many of my team members undergo what I would say a metamorphosis. So many of them from being a shy little caterpillar to wow, now a confident, colorful butterfly. You know, from what they say is so I cannot, I cannot do wow. Now they all have this can-do spirit. And it is really thanks to the, pro, the systematic progression of the Avita education system that allows us to do that. You know? In fact, I always tell people this is like the uh, MBA of the new normal, right? Where you actually gain uh, education of real life and you can put it into practice and you learn and practice at the same time. You will never find a better MBA than this. You know, I personally have benefited from this and I really wish many of you here who are new friends have the chance to join us to also experience the wonderful MBA's uh, education system that we have. Now, it's so important to me that, you know, Avita is more than just a business, okay? Personally, Avita is not just a global business that will make me millions. I cherish Avita for surrounding me with like-minded, positive, can-do entrepreneurs who can encourage each other on and lift each other to greater heights. I always tell people, right, you know, after my first family here, Avita is really my second family, right? a family that works hard together, we have fun together, we champion meaningful social projects together, where we come together to co-create a better life and a better world. Now, I know that tonight, I do not have time to go into details. Hence, I'm really inviting all the friends here who are intrigued, you know, in what I saw in this business. So really join us on the 20th of November, where I will be hosting this entrepreneur leadership seminar, you know, together with two very powerful leaders, you know, um, there's a PA Joey Tan and Diamond President Tengi So, you know, where you will be able to understand in detail about this platform. So if you think that, you know, this uh, lip seminar sounds, you know, like the thing for you, do ask the friend who have invited you how you can sign up for this event. Now, my, my parting shot this evening is this very simple advice from my good friend, Richard. Right, and I, I hold this mantra very dearly. Now, opportunity favors the bold. And if somebody offers you an amazing opportunity, but you are not sure whether you can do it, well, say yes first, then learn how to do it later. Now, when Elvin offered me the Avita opportunity in 2016, well, I said yes. I learned, I built, and I achieved my platinum directorship in 2017. In fact, my yes has set me on the path to be the next Richard Branson. Now, today, your friend who cares about you has invited you here to evaluate this opportunity. Well, are you saying yes? Now, I would now like to invite each and every one of you to your breakout room where you don't have to do anything. You'll be transported there automatically. And I welcome you to really ask the leaders then more questions about uh, this amazing opportunity and how you too can seize this for yourself. Okay, so sit back, be prepared to have a wonderful discussion. Uh, is the breakout rooms ready, Elwin? Yes, ever ready. All right, everybody just sit back and be prepared to be whisked away to your breakout room. <laughs>